Bob, I really appreciate you just giving me this car. Are you sure you don't want me to pay you something? Like, it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's no problem. And absolutely, you can have it 100% for free. But uh, you, uh, you are going to destroy it, right? Like, completely destroy it. Yep, it's definitely getting destroyed. I'm going to shoot it with a punt gun. All right, good, good, good. So there'll be no evidence, right? Yeah, that's a interesting descriptive word to use, but yeah, that shouldn't be much left of it. All right, that's good. That's great. Yeah, I got it out of here leaking split. I don't think the cops followed me or anything. What? Uh, uh, I said, uh, I don't think my pops followed me or anything. He, he really likes the car. He didn't want to see me get rid of it. Right. Well, man, I really appreciate it. You are an absolute lifesaver. Oh, no, man. You're the lifesaver, literally. You have saved me 25 years to life. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you have a good one, man. You take it easy. Hey, did you have a skunk in this car? Hey, never mind that. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I am super excited because today we are gonna film another video with Fury the Punt Gun. If you live under a rock and you do not know what Fury the Punt Gun is, let me educate you real quick. Punt guns used to be used for commercial duck hunting. They would be used to take out entire flocks of ducks, and they would mount them to a John boat, which was called a punt. So therefore you have a punt gun. Fury here is a modern punt gun made out of modern materials. It is nine foot overall in length, has a six foot barrel and weighs 150 pounds. The bore diameter of this punt gun is 1.68 inches. And just for some reference, this is a 50 BMG. This is a four bore, a 2,150 grain bullet that is one inch in diameter and it just swallows that. And to give you a little more reference, this is a Desert Tech HTI 50 BMG. It is not a small gun by any means. But if you take this here and you compare it to the punt gun, you can see that the 50 BMG is not even as big as the punt gun's stock and forend. I can literally fit the 50 BMG's muzzle brake and barrel all the way down the punt gun's barrel. So when it comes to shooting this thing, it's gonna be producing upwards of 800 pounds of felt recoil. For most people, that would absolutely rip them in half. I could totally fire this thing, I'd eat the recoil for breakfast. But I stepped on a Lego this morning, so uh, my foot's kinda sore. But luckily, I have a handy dandy recoil absorbing sled. So lately, I've been taking advantage of the community posts on YouTube. Every week, I've been posting a multiple choice question just to see what you guys think. A few weeks ago, I posted one and I said, what would you like to see me shoot with the punt gun first? Well, the winner was zombie torsos. But uh, obviously, this is not a zombie torso. We are gonna shoot zombie torsos, I promise. But I just really wanted to shoot the car. So this is a Ford Flex, and I think that it's seen better days. And the plan is, is to shoot one side with say birdshot, flip it, shoot the other side with some sort of buck, and then we will throw a giant one pound ball down the center of this engine. Oh, well, would you look at the time? What a coincidence, because today's sponsor is 511. 5.11 is good at a lot of things, but what they're most goodest at is their tactical pants. They're spacious, they're durable, and they're flexible, which make them great for everyday activities, concealed carry, and even kung fu. Never let them know your next move. 5.11 also makes shoes. They even got backpacks for when you decide to be a woodsman. So what I'm trying to say is 511 is pretty awesome, but you know what else is awesome? 20% off. And right now, if you use code KYB20, you will get 20% off all non-sale items. This is good online or in one of their many retail stores. Be sure and check them out. There is a link in the description down below. Again, a big thank you to 511 for sponsoring today's video. And again, don't forget to use that code KYB20. Now, let's get started.
Okay, we are all loaded up and ready to go. Fury here has over a pound of number eight birdshot inside it right now with over a quarter pound of powder. A 12 gauge shotgun can hold 450 number eight pellets. Fury here holds 7,500. Let's go hide, shall we? Okay, we are hiding behind the truck today because we could potentially have a ricochet, so we don't want to take any chances. You know, safety is always first. Let's see what happens when we hit the car with 7,500 pellets. That's a lot of slack. Here we go. Um, well, I thought I had it loaded with number eight shot, but I think I may have made a mistake. Let's try again, shall we? Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh! There's no question that that 100% was number eight bird shot that time. Look at this spread. Holy cow. Wow. Okay, so we blew out this window and we damaged that one severely and we really tore up these doors. That is nuts. Look at all these. <laughs> Dude. Also, it looks like we blew through the other window on the other side and you also might notice that this door is just dented in oh, oh. have you look inside there but well, there is glass everywhere can you imagine what that would have been like if you were inside that car Okay, for this next shot, I'm gonna go ahead and move the car so we have a fresh side to shoot. Okay, well next, we are gonna shoot this car with over a pound of 45 caliber buckshot. That is over 45 pellets. I am a little worried though, because I gotta make sure this thing will start for our grand finale when we hit it with a giant one pound ball. So, I'm going to cover up the steering wheel and the ignition with some soft body armor just to try and prevent that from happening. <laughs> all right, Fury is all loaded up again. Like I said, we are gonna be using 45 caliber buckshot and there are over 45 pellets inside there with over a quarter pound of powder, we are going to absolutely destroy that car. Hey, listen here. Scott, he's doing me a solid. Get rid of that car. He's a good dude. So you should do him a solid and hit that subscribe button, all right? Hey, I gotta go. Okay, I expect this to be very destructive. Here we go. Oh, that was loud. actually quite impressed with our spread. Um, those were 45 caliber pellets, like I said, and look at how beautifully this pattern on this car. That is crazy. I'd say that's about, I don't know, a two foot pattern. Whoa. Golly. All right, let's uh, 
take a look at the other side real quick. Looks like we blew through that door and um, went through this side too. I don't think we made it completely through. We did have pellets hit this door. Actually, there's one right there in the window uh, button. Look at that. It's a big old piece of lead. Handle looks a little chewed up. I'm gonna put the parking brake on just in case. Uh, 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 I'm really regretting shooting that door. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen to that baby purr. Peak performance. So, my biggest concern when shooting a vehicle is a ricochet. I'm not too concerned with it coming straight back more so if it were to ricochet off the motor. So, to make me feel a little better and to be extra safe, I have this giant piece of a quarter inch thick of mild steel that I'm putting on top of the hood. That way, if the lead ball were to go upwards, this should stop it. Oh, all right, this is gonna be the grand finale. Fury here is loaded up with over a quarter pound of powder and one of these little guys, that is a 7,000 grain lead ball, AKA one pound. It's gonna be producing over 25,000 foot pounds of energy and it's gonna slam into that engine block. I am very excited to see what's gonna happen. All right, we have got the car running, the gun loaded up, everything's good to go. It's gonna pull back this hammer. I'm really excited. I have shot many cars with many different calibers, but never a punt gun. And we are about to find out what that looks like. Oof. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Holy cow, it was loud. I think, I think it's dead. She did. Look at that hole. Holy cow. So I was aiming here. We hit just a little higher than I would have liked, but we completely demolished this thing. Oh, dude. There we go. Holy cow. Take a look at that. That is some carnage. Look at all that. Dude. It ripped all through that motor. Wow. It broke through all of that. That is all busted. I mean, it is completely demolished. We got a flashlight inside there now and you can see real deep inside that motor. That one pound ball really penetrated deep. That is the most devastating shot to a motor I have ever seen, but it's nothing a bottle of Lucas can't fix. Now, I say we take a bonus shot, bird shot, straight to the windshield. I am really curious to see what that does. Uh, all right, let's give the old four flex one more shot. All right, here we go. Holy cow!
Okay, so a pound of bird shot will completely cave in your windshield. Look at this. Just poof. All that energy went into the windshield and it's just smushed down. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, some of it, it appears it blew through the windshield and then also went through the back glass. I had a camera inside and I set a piece of Lexan in front of it just in case. I'm, uh, I'm glad I did that. Okay, where is the camera? Here's the Lexan. You can see it had several pellets like skip off of it. Still work? Oh, okay. It's still recording. Uh, I think it got turned off. I mean, it still works. The rear view mirror and the cabin light is hanging down. <laughs> wow, actually on the roof inside there, you can see where some bird shot skipped across the roof. I'm gonna say that this car is pretty much completely done. Well, that's gonna be about it with the punt gun today. I need to get this sucker home and clean it. But let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Also, what else would you like to see me shoot with the punt gun? Uh. I never tried to start this thing after we shot it. I wonder what would happen. Oh, oh God. Yeah, so I learned today that you should not try to start a car after you shoot it with a punt gun. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure and give it a like. Hit that subscribe button. Be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistic Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and X, formerly known as Twitter. Also, be sure and check out KentuckyBallistics.com just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time.